Graham, answer this before we, we hit the 11.30 bulletin. Mark in Surrey. And you and I both know that a point like this is always going to come. My take on yesterday in Glasgow was that the poor state of Scottish football was highlighted. The two sides on show would struggle to be mid-table championship in England. The two Edinburgh sides in Aberdeen wouldn't trouble the top of League One and the rest would be League Two or National League. It's just poor, poor football. A long way from the days when we used to travel to watch Graham's Rangers side. Yeah, uh, yeah there's no doubt about it. You know, the, the way the game has evolved where... Where I'm, where I live, down in Bournemouth, you know, the, the mighty cherries get something like ninety million plus. I think I'm correct in saying from television. You know, eleven thousand stadium, they get ninety. Am I right, Simon? You're yeah, about hundred billion. Yeah, na- pop, circa yeah. ninety million. And I think I'm correct in saying Glasgow Rangers, 60, 70 million turnover, all in. And Glasgow Rangers, one of the biggest football clubs in the world with an unbelievable history. Am I right in saying they get three million? Yes. So right. there, there is your art. There is your. Is that Mark from Surrey? Yeah, Mark from Surrey. There's your. There's your story in a nutshell. When I was managing Glasgow Rangers, we had half the English team. That's how. That's how the game has been unfair on the Scottish teams. What the I would say to Mark Surrey, the Graham, is if I was to choose from watching Manchester City nil, Arsenal nil from last week, or watching Rangers three, Celtic three from yesterday. I know what one would entertain me more. Yeah, you can always, you can, Jim, you can always cherry pick in isolation which ones, you know, sit here a great watch at If time, you but... stuck Celtic and Rangers into English football, it wouldn't be long before they were operating at the highest level in English football. See, people have to understand. And if how we... would that be? Well, if they came, listen, if they, the, the discussion was about 20 years ago about them coming into the championship. And obviously some turkeys got a vote for Christmas by being prepared to be relegated to facilitate that. And there has to be some sort of financial model that made that happen. But with 60,000 fans, look at the way that these, irrespective of how poor it's become, when you get a battle of Britain, when you get Celtic or Rangers playing against an English side, it's not cut and dried in Champions League or European football. It becomes a difficult battle. Uh, and I think if you put Celtic and Rangers into the Championship with 60,000 crowds, they'll be in the Premier League within three years. And then once they're in the Premier League, hold on a second, then then it's all bets off. They've got the they've got the revenue, they've got the worldwide eyes on the prize, they've got another 120 million. They're, they're, they'll be a top side. If yeah, there was a stadium in Glasgow that they would never do it, OK, let's say Rangers got a stadium for 100,000 people and Celtic have, and they're in the Premier League, they would fill it for most of the Premier League games in Glasgow. 100,000 people. That's how big those two clubs are. Yeah, agreed. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.